हेलो गाइस हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज क्रांति कुमार वर्किंग एज अ जीएस फैकल्टी एंड मेड ए स्मॉल वीडियो ऑन आर्ट एंड कल्चर ऑफ तेलंगाना व्हिच इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द स्टेट लेवल एग्जामिनेशन सर एंड वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट वन टू थ्री मार्क्स फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम ओके सर नेक्स्ट and the next i want to discuss about the how the name of telangana came the telangana name has three historic backgrounds telangana name came from trilinga that is kaleshwaram sri shailam and draksharamam area between these three linga temples called as telangana in ancient times godavari river also called as telivahana river area present along the telivahana river called telangana the next theory was telangana name came from telugu plus ganam that is the people who sings telugu were called telanganam in between 750 to 973 the telangana is also called sampada lakshadesham one of the most important point here is that sampada lakshadesham means the desham or the country which has 1.25 villages it mean in ancient times the telangana have around 1.25 lakhs of villages that is called sampada lakshadesham it is also another name of telangana and the next point is the area between manjira river and the mahakaleshwaram we call as podanapadu it is also it is also another name of telangana and the telangana word first used by amir kusru as a telanga in his books okay in his books and the telangana word first seen on Tel- telapur inscription which is found in medak the telangana was part of asmakam which is one of the 16 janapadas already we know that the 16 janapadas what are the 16 janapadas sir kamboja gandhara kuru panchala kosala vijji malla and we have to know that asmakam is a only one janapada which is present in the south india okay sir and the next nizambad karimnagar and adilabad districts at present districts are once a part of asmakam and the capital of asmakam was potana now it is calling as bodan and now i will explain how the hyderabad and the what is the history of the hyderabad first point first name of hyderabad was chinchala which means island of tamarits later it called as imbliban now it is mgbs we already know that the bus, mahatma gandhi bus station where it is located sir on the island of musi river on the island of musi river in 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 uh, in olden days it is called as imbliban later it is now calling it as a mg bs now uh, in order to uh, in, in order to remember this uh, chinchala and all those things sir uh, we had to uh, already we know that the anushka movie that is the bagamati movie already we know that the hyderabad is also known as a bagyanagar okay it came from the bagamati okay bagamat in bagamati movie the anushka name was chinchala okay by connecting these two names we can remember this very easily and the next sultan kuli kutub ul mulk he is the first king of kutub shahis and he laid foundation for mahmud nagar in near golconda sir he built mahmud nagar near golconda and the next point later with the combination of chinchala and mahmud nagar kuli kutub shah built bhagya nagar in 1590 to 91 on the name of his wife bhagamati later name changed as hyderabad due to change of his wife name as a hyderamal hyder mahal and this is the photo of the mgbs sir at present now telangana gi tag handicrafts pochampalli ikkat sarees tie and dye were used in making of this sarees this type of work used by ancient egypt civilization discovered 
in mummies the second point it is widely used in china tiang dynasty came to india via silk road it got gi tag in 2005 pochampalli ikkat logo got gi tag in 2017 during nizam era they were exported to myanmar west asia and east africa they were also known as asian rumals ikkat name came from magni cat a malay indonesian expression which means bind or wind and the next gullabama sarees it is very famous in siddipet name came from sarees which consist of gullabama paintings in 2017 samantha became ambassador for these sarees it got gi tag in 2012 and the next hadila hyderabad halim it is a arabian dish came to india during 6th nizam mir mahbub ali khan it prepared by mixing meat dal grains wheat etc gotni a wooden hand masher used for cooking of halim it got gi tag in 2010 here i displayed the images of gullabama paintings and gullabama sarees and here i displayed gotni and the next varangal darrees it got gi tag in 2017 18 darrees means carpets these darrees mentioned in marco polo books who visited kakatiya dynasty in rudramadevi period in nizam in nizam period ajamjahi mills helped a lot for this darrees industry and the next adilabad dokra metals it got gi tag in 2017 18 it is a ancient metal crafts uniqueness of this art is that no two sculptures are the same no joints will be present they use brass as their main material and technique user is called sir perdu artisans who will make these dokra metals are voj community they are also referred as ojari bidri metal crafts it consists of silver on jet black zinc however this art came to india in bahmani period from persia art was famous in bidar The name Bidar came from word Bidri itself. Technically, this work is called encrusted metal ware. Key metals are zinc and copper mixed with the ratio of sixteen ratio one. And the next silver filigree metals, dedicated kind of jewelry metals, work usually gold and silver made with tiny beads or twisted threads. This type of work used by Mesopotamia civilization they are called by Telkari Karimnagar got GI tag for this art Narayan pet sarees these are mostly from cotton and silk sarees these sarees show influence of Maharashtra and Telangana sarees consist of broad jari and temple motif it was patronized by Shivaji and the next cherial paintings it got gi tag in 2017 it is a folk art painting from dakkan these paintings are stylized form of nakash art believed to be brought by moguls it consists of narrative forms of mythological epics like ramayana mahabharata etc artisans belongs to chitrakara community ingredients used are white mud rice starch tamarind seeds and natural tree gum these paintings are made from natural stone colors locally known as gaddalu ranga this is also famous for making masks and the next one nirmal toys these are traditional indian wooden toys of nirmal artisans make toys from the locally available soft wood called puniki or white sanders in past these articles used as a dowry gifts 
Ganjifa playing cards also traditionally made in Nirmal. Nirmal paintings. The next one was the Nirmal paintings. Evolution of Nirmal art goes back to the days of Kakatiya dynasty. Paintings happened with bright colors and finally touched with gold and then varnished. And the next Gadwal series. It got GI tag in 1999. It is most notable for the Zari and the Saris. Sari consists of cotton body with silk pallu, which is also called Siko Saris. Wave is so light that Sari can be packed in matchbox. Brahmotsavam of Tirupati begins with the gold idols, gold idols being adorned with Gadwal Saris. Next one was the Pemberthi metal crafts. Brass metal work art patronized by Kakatiyas. These metal sheets extensively used to add on chariots and temples. It got GI tag in 2010 and 11. Thank you for everyone for watching this video. Please subscribe the video. Thank you.